Kiyo seemed like such a quiet character. But now that he's gone, it just feels so much quieter around here. Maybe not quieter, but like... Friendlier. Happier? Better. Things feel a lot better lately. Hello and welcome back to Donganrumpa! When we last left off on Donganrumpa! We found some new labs. We found our own lab. We found some Moogie's lab. And we found, uh, Kibo's lab. That just leaves Rantaro and Kokichi. And I feel like I'm missing someone else. I feel like I am. But I think that's it. I think we've got everyone else's. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We gotta go into Kibo's lab. Let's check out his digs. But, uh... I guess we'll see what old fart bag here has got to say about being dominated in the way that she has been. Hey, Miyu! How excited are you for... That excited, yeah. Kibo, we phase right through Miyu to Kibo, who is just very dismayed. Zoop! Zoop! Right into her, right into her face. Incomprehensible. Flying buildings! <laughs> Dr. Waiwi must, must hear about this! Dr. Waiwi's gonna shoot shit his pants when he sees flying buildings! He just dropped out of the frickin' sky! All right. It's almost like magic! Or like mysterious computerized technologies! Oh my god! You literally worked! Your workshop is like a Covenant spaceship from Halo. I knew it. This is definitely Kibo's lab. This definitely looks like a two-tier, like, Halo shooter level. You can run up the stairs, get the energy sword, and then, like, run downstairs and swipe at everyone who comes by. Hiding in the rafters. Yeah, it seems like this is some Halo stuff here. It's so colorful, so bright and pretty. This no is... <laughs> I don't like this! This is too sci-fi! Can we leave is now? Right? Hey, I don't want to be in my lab either. Nobody wants to be in their lab. Yeah, except for Miu, I think. Everyone else's labs are, like, real scary and messed up. Distorted versions of themselves. We shouldn't rely on the power of sci-fi for anything! Sci-fi isn't even real! It's fiction! That's right. I would prefer more Japanese theme. I like the Japanese robots. And I like the Japanese food. Even though I can only stare at it, it looks so pretty. <laughs> I'd like kimonos in my lab and a porch with wind chimes. It's okay. talking real old school. <laughs> he wants like a nice straw hat and some straw sticking out of his mouth. And he wants a truck and a dog. <laughs> My beautiful country Kibo. He just wants to sit on the front porch sipping some lemonade. He wants a little the tall glass of iced tea to shorten his circuits. Alright, so we're gonna go to the dining hall. We're just actually gonna teleport there. We're not even gonna waste time. We don't have to waste time. There's no time like the present anymore now that it's just you and me. If you've been keeping up with our series this far, which kudos to you, because Jesus, it's episode 50, man. Uh, if you've been keeping up this far, you'd know that we had for the last two chapters uh, friends with us, and we have not been alone like this since chapter one. Cool, so everyone's in the dining hall, except for our good friend Kokichi. With my magic. Wow. What? You magically looked over the school. Let's do the flashback light. Are they really okay to no. use? <laughs> yeah, Seriously? we gotta go for it. Agree with your fish dicks. <laughs> Get it? Fish dicks? Fish dicks. <sighs> they went there. Who are you calling a water shredded fish? There's no way Kokichi wouldn't show up to any time the entire class gathered. There's no way! 
Is that all right? So where's the card ah. key? <laughs> if you're worried, I flushed it down the toilet. Huh? Yeah. But. I'm so disappointed. Cut it so out. you didn't use it on the freaking library door that we talked about you for know. like an hour in the first case? There we go. Boop. Kaito thumbed the shit out of the switch. Let's go into a flashback. Show me the new world. I forgot how cool this was! Yes! Distort my ass! Shuichi, you got good ass. It's good booty. Distort the shit out of my ass. Uh, <laughs> scenes flew by inside my consciousness. All at once. I remembered. Yes! Okay, the flashback light's gonna show us the meteorites that we saw at the beginning of chapter three. It was the end times. What was that? Okay. Meteorite impacts. So they were saying like this was extinction level meteorites. All living organisms on Earth were annihilated. So... Hmm. As the meteorites got worse, more people started saying it was the end of the world. I'm going to hear that too. Unless someone does something, the world will end. <laughs> I got sorry, I'm gonna go away. L look at this headline. Residents run for cover as an object! <laughs> Believed to be a meteorite approaches. Subtitles, friends. Subtitles are the things that you append to a title, and that title just says, Residents run for cover as an object. It's live. It's 1602, and it's live. As residents. <laughs> running as an object. I saw flyers all over the city too. They said mankind deserves damnation. Humanity should go to hell. This is getting weird. Culty. <laughs> That's a lot of people out on the streets. We can't even get that many people out on the streets when like we need real help. That's not true. We've actually done a really good job these last couple years protesting like people should do. Want to save the world from meteorites? Could it be? So there was a plan. There was a gopher project. <laughs> to break a bunch of gophers would come out of the ground and they would push the meteorites back into space. But more like gopher broke project. What? That's true. Okay. <laughs> oh, Mew. Where are you going with this? Huh? <laughs> the fuck's going on? Mew seems like the kind of person that would be in, on the side of the Mew. cultists. Ah! Seems like... Pull us yeah. out of the Matrix! Yeah, Mew gets weirder on the flashback lights. So there was this ultimate hunt, this joint funeral for everybody, even after we got hunted down. And then... Meteorites? Cults? And Gopher Project? Okay. So there's some kind of Gopher Project, and I would have to guess that that's what we're in right now? This must... Be the extension of that after we died? Huh? See? We need one more, so we gotta do one more murder before everything matches up. But... If we were actually all dead and this was the afterlife, even if it was an afterlife for us... Uh... It's not stupid. Meteorites wiped out all humanity, so why can't other things happen? Space is full of mysteries we can't even fathom. Why y'all? Why are you so skeptical, Kaito? Maybe an unknown substance brought to Earth that could have bent time and space. Is our theme magic? No, that's just your theme, Himiko. That's just you, dog. I know it gets confusing sometimes. 
It's like the setting for some kind of third-rate anime or game. Yeah, that's kind of where we live, huh? How would you explain the flashback lights, exosols, and even Monokuma? It's all stuff we're used to now, but that kind of goes against common sense. As Big Brother always tells me, expect the unexpected. That's their cutesy little tagline that they sell us on every single episode. My bad. And, uh... This does a much- this whole Danganronpa series does a real good job of making sure that you get real, real Wait. used to the daily life. <sighs> Everyone seems very tired. <laughs> Let's just go to bed. Yeah, Kibo read the air on that one! My I'm doing good. Hey. <laughs> the kid's doing better and better every day. Cause going to gentlemen. Wait, Gonta, you can You're just so dumb. You took off the thing again? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Mm, like I thought. <laughs> no matter how much you've changed, Himiko, you still think that escaping is useless. There's a lot of mysteries to solve, and it seems like the only way to solve them is murder. Where does this card key go though? Let's go take a sleep. It's no use. It's no use. Oh, hey. We're not going to sleep. We're doing some free time. It's been a little while since we've gotten some free time. I don't know how much free time we're going to get, but uh, I feel like we've got to go back on the path that we were brought down to begin with. We can finish up Miu right now if we wanted to. Although I'm kind of scared about where that's going to go. Um, where is everybody at? Now that nobody else is with us, we can have free time with Kokichi. Nobody can stop us. Gonta's back in his little bug room. Let's... Let's go see Miu one more time. Let's see if we can actually accomplish uh, all of her her thing. I want to see what happens when that like when we get that sixth slot. I shouldn't use that word around Mew. Should I hang out with Mew for a while even though it might not be safe? It's not gonna be safe for work so uh, prepare yourself everyone. This might get a little risque. She's trying to get her meds. Please, Miu, do not run away from reality. Let's give Miu a present. I can't remember any of the presents that our lovely co-hosts helped tell us to give people. Um, I just remember that a lot of people really liked beans, they liked the jelly balls, and they liked the blankets. <coughs> Or the hammocks. Oh wait, no! I remember her thing was those wipes, wasn't it? I've got one sparkly sheet left. Oh yeah. That's the perfect amount of sparkly sheets left. I'm sorry, I'm not here for your inventions. Also, the last time that we talked to Miu, she confessed to us. She confessed her love in a weird way, I think. <laughs> Since you looked so bummed out, I got you a present! <laughs> no, it's not an invention. I didn't make it. Out of my way. It's a pie? Sure. Oh, do not give me this American pie stuff. Oh, God. Miu, is your hair in this pie? Um, Miu? I don't know what you're expecting with hidden ingredients. I'm gonna worry. I'm gonna worry real a whole bunch. Please forgive me. I just wanna be. No, Miu! Cookies with my fingernails and chocolates with my blood? She wants the person that loves her to eat her. 
I'm honored that you made this, but I'm concerned about the hygiene. <laughs> Would you just really mean? <laughs> we have to be careful here. <laughs> Even a genius like me should be more careful with the stuff I make. Uh -huh. She took this really nice. If anything happened to you, I might go crazy. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, if something bad happened to me, the world would not recover. <laughs> Just keep protecting me, I guess. <laughs> you whipped out the ray gun! Oh. Oh no. Oh no. She's just handed me her underwear. Listen up. This is how you this is how you flirt with people, obviously. I got her panties, and so I've earned the right to date her. That being said... There's something really, like... Sweet. That she gave them to me off of her body, without actually having to take off her, her panties. This is actually, like... There's something weirdly modest about that. That she just transmogrified underwear into my hands. You're Maybe I'm overthinking this. I just hand her a bunch of wipes. She's happy as a clam. So you better take her clam is also as happy as a clam. <laughs> I blame QB. I blame Quincy on this one. Okay. Although I started this, so... The whole reason we started this whole thing with me was because we knew she would survive at least to this long. And we were right! Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I'm glad Shuichi's having fun though, too. They're all having a good time. She is showing me a lot of affection, and I'm not sure how to feel about that. I don't know if I can commit to this, something like this. I'm a little serious about this, but... It'll be okay. We'll get out of here together. Aww. It's a true bond! We've got all six! All five! You've learned a new skill. Triple X-ray goggles. <laughs> This is gonna make my job as an editor in the series harder. I can already feel like... There they are. There we go. Classy. Just... Black undergarments. It's a good way to go. Well, that was a long day. <laughs> that was just as long as I expected. My couch is looking lonely. Actually, you bastards should go to bed. Funny. You can't just say something like that. Dream come true. Hey. Did Monofany smack him on the head enough times until he fell in love with her? No. Oh god. I want you. All right, have fun, guys. Well, no point worrying about the mono cubs ever. It's time for training. It's 10 p.m., which means we can only do one thing, and that's do a push-up. One. All right, I'm exhausted. Gonta, how you doing before bedtimes? Oh, thank you. Oh. Angie's gone. Student council's not around. Ryoma got killed at nighttime. Oh. Angie got killed. Oh, Gonta, sorry for being so careless. Uh, um, Gonta, you're not useless. Are you okay? Gonta has come to a decision. Uh, no. Oh, there's some oh. business. Gonta's about to change character and... Dong and Rompa doesn't have a good record for when characters suddenly change. Uh, and we've already seen Himiko hit a new stride. Kaito has... Something is going on with Kaito. We'll probably hopefully see something new with that tonight. Shuichi. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's been a while because Kaito is scared of ghosts. All right. Yeah, this has become so casual. Let's do 100 sit-ups, which are much easier than 100 push-ups. But maybe that's just me cuz I'm a big guy. 1 2 
lucky. <laughs> You're way too fast. When you really think about it. God damn it, Kaito! Kaito just does sit-ups so that he can look at the sky. And he does push-ups so he can push the earth away from himself. Hey, less talking, more working. Kaito. <laughs> this is Kaito's entire philosophy. I don't know if he can do many workouts in his condition. Well, he is in his condition. He cannot do push-ups because he will just cough up blood. I wasn't gonna go into the boys' bathroom, God. Well, <laughs> Pop the real question. Weirdo. Did you like like Katie? Uh, um, I don't understand. Yeah, Katie like came on real hard yeah. to us, to Chuichi. Wait, we were Katie then. We came on real hard to us then. Huh? I think. <sighs> nope. It's a bond you will never understand, Maki. No. You're just a sidekick. You're not a protagonist. Don't you don't got the hair for it, unfortunately. Huh? Gotta have a little hair here and a little hair underneath and a lot of hair right sticking straight up out the top of your noggin. Um. Maki, that's that's cruel of you to just ask a personal question and act like you don't care about the answer. Uh, um. <laughs> yeah, he emptied himself out of some liquids, maybe urine, but probably blood. Some lung blood. <laughs> hey, no road is long when you have good company. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Okay, mm, bud. You train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Cuz I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Luminary of the stars. Let me remind you my catchphrase hey, one more time before I die. Before someone comes out in the woodworks to just Knife me in the frickin' mouth. Kaido, I had to give up. Only Maki was able to finish. Hey, I bet Shuichi's getting farther, though. You know, gets in like 50 of them. 50 or 60 of them. That'd be very good. I couldn't do that. I could, maybe I could do that. Hmm. I like doing sit-ups. Ah, oh, the meteorites, the gopher project. Somehow this all seems like it's Kaito's fault. Maybe he did make it to space, and then accidentally had to turn around real quick before hitting the outer atmosphere because he brought meteorites. Maybe he summoned meteorites on accident. I'm trying to think of all the ways Kaito could be the center of all of this. Right, Mono? Right? Right. Why soccer players have numbers on their jerseys? It's how many mochi each player gets in the red bean soup they eat up. What are you? I'm out of here. Red bean soup will be ready to eat as soon as the game is over. And if players want a different number of mochi, they trade jerseys. You know, players trade jerseys, it's a thing. But baseball jerseys, the number is how many pieces of meat they get in their curry. And for volleyball, it's how many sliced pork they get in their ramen. Go away, Monokuma, get out of here. Get out of here. There wasn't even a joke in that. It was a weird anecdote that doesn't even make sense. Oh. Well, it got... Got real aggressive in this relationship. Don't kick me my tum-tum. Damn, Monotaro. Damn. Monofane, you don't need that. Get him out of your life. Start signing papers, baby. Well. All right. Next. Let's see how Gonta has changed his life. 
It's like the Mori Povich show. It's like, oh, you're gonna turn around a new leaf. You used to be a butterfly catcher. And now you've metamorphosized into a, some kind of weird gentle man. Hey, shortstop, what's up? Um. Hmm. Yeah. I ran all the way here from my room. I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even allowed to walk anymore. I have to live life straight ahead. I have to run everywhere. Mm. But I get really tired, so I have to take stops uh, sometimes. No. It's huh? kind of adorable. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> Here. This is a Keikogi belt. You can wear this and train in the dojo just like Tanko did. That's. Hmm. Oh! Um. Yeah! Let's. We. This seems like a special event. I see. You're a good person. Well. You're right. Good deeds should be done quickly, so we'll start right after breakfast. Well, hopefully I didn't just sign my own death warrant. Right, Maki? You wanna come with me? Hey. Okay. Kaito's obliviousness last night was weird. Well Huh? Hey. Yeah, you like were real cold last huh? night. You're a detective. There's, there's part of me that's like, okay, Maki, you didn't, you didn't say anything about, you, you purposely put on airs to make it seem like you didn't care, which is consistent with your character. Now you're saying that I wasn't a good detective because I took you at face value and didn't assume that you were lying about being nice. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm here to, I'm here to play with the cards that I am dealt, not the cards that I wish I had. That's what my dad always says. That was my dad's advice to me. You gotta play with the cards you're dealt, not the cards you wish you had. But... Yeah, you got unsuited 7-2 in your hand. You should probably throw that hand away. Not expect a 3-4-5 flop. No can forgive. Huh? Oh! Go to you're gonna go fight Monokuma! Wow! Going to want to help everyone. Got to know it's reckless. The only way to save everyone. Please. Going to do his best. That probably is a bad idea. Come on, man. That's a really bad idea. You brought everyone together during breakfast to say that you're gonna go fight Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Why would you even want to start to stop the killing game? It's hard to get fun, though. Why? Guys are all whack jobs. Something's wrong with your heads. Ah. I like Kokichi. Now that he's not lying. Now that he's like, my whole character is that I'm enjoying this game. You're so dumb. And I like that he made that uh, change of character during the last trial, not like outside of it for any reason. Huh? I'm gonna win this game. <laughs> if that'll help me win, I'll do it. No. Yeah. Hmm, Kokichi. <laughs> Kokichi's not going to kill anyone though, because he wants to see the killing game continue. If anything, he's making sure that he's a motive so that he's not the one who is killed. That's some pretty next level thinking. Oh shit. Oh, Kokichi's way up here. You can't be the murder victim if everyone thinks you're the next blackened. Damn, Kokichi. He's looking at the other eight people around him like, one of us could be killed. Perfect. Kichi, what the hell's gotten into you? Oh man. Kaido, did you just hit him? If you keep acting like this, I'm gonna knock your senses back into you. This is some purple hair on purple hair violence that I will not stand. Kaito, please stop. 
There is never a good reason to commit violence. <laughs> Kibo is the best. Even minor aggressions can lead to atrocities. Oh, whoa, chill out, Kibo. That does so. Kokichi by doing this also runs the risk of putting a target on his back, but I don't think that target will be big enough for anyone to like pull the trigger on killing him. It like it doesn't put a big enough target on his back to make whoever wants to be a killer think that he's an easy target because he's still not an easy target. Oh, sad boy. Maybe. Go and just go go fight Monokuma so that friends don't fight friends. Miu? Are you gonna talk sense at all into Gonta? Yeah, the only thing you should be reckless with is that tree trunk dick of yours! Hmm. Is what Miu would usually say. Um, sorry, Miu, what's going on? <laughs> Gonta's got that tree trunk dick. Booyah! Miu, the gorgeous girl genius, will save us all. What's wrong? From. Sure. I'll bring you to a world where the. Yes, huh? yes, take us deeper into another level of this, like, weird dreamlike state that we've been in. Inception <laughs> killing game. I just yeah. want to tease you all. Uh, okay. I'm gonna tease you all with my secret plan. Oh boy. That could be a whole nother thing. I mean, we already know our motive is this, like, weird key card. I kind of want to go down to the basement and check that area out. But we promised Himiko we're going to go to the dojo. Oh, thank God, Gonta's here. Mm. Hmm. Hey, Gonta! Gonta. Uh, uh, hey! Because Gonta, gentlemen. We could use this room to train our bodies some more. Huh? Himiko, fight Gonta with magic. All right! Hmm. Gonta want to help everyone. What happened? Please. <laughs> yeah, let's tell him. Allow Gonta. Shuichi, how can Gonta uh, help? Um. Huh? Right. We're doing magic training, Gonta. That so, uh, good. Gonta's not gonna understand uh. that. Gonta, what are you guys doing? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm already so scared. Okay, we have changed into our Kigogi, and we are going to train under Himiko. Yay! Next up, we are going to do 100 cool magic show poses. <laughs> it's always 100. It's That's the perfect number. That's like a lot, but possible. We can do yes. this. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, two three. three. One, two, three. One, two, three. What's the matter, Shuichi? You're slacking on your poses. Gotta keep voguing. Mm, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it symmetrical. Keep popping and locking. It's important to smile too. <laughs> smile like Gonta. Sure. Sure. Shuichi's <laughs> like, oh, it's exhausting. She's dealing with stuff in her own way. Good job, Tanko. You reached Himiko. <laughs> That's really lovely. Well, after a day like that. Gonta said he wanted to fight Monokuma to save his friends. And Miu is doing something to fight Monokuma also. Um, my friends die and all I can do is solve their murder after it's no. over. What can Shuichi do to prevent murders? To make sure they don't happen? I don't know what he could do as a detective to prevent, to make preventative measures towards murders. But if he studies all of his cases, he might be able to figure out patterns with, like, 
culprits to do more fun activities with friends who might be on the edge of doing something crazy. Like what we did with uh, with Himiko. That seems nice. That actually seems like a really good idea and very like suited to Shuichi's style of intervention. An interventionary, like a counselor almost. He's just gonna do fun aerobics with everybody. <laughs> He's gonna start some jazzercise with the club. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us while we theory craft our way into making Shuichi a better person. And uh, we'll see you next time for more Soul and Face, for more of the show, for more Danganronpa, and more free time. We got a lot of free time that we gotta work through. We got friends to make, baby. 